Hey, it's Thomas here, your aquatics expert with Big Owls, and today I'm going to show you how you can introduce fish to your new freshwater aquarium. When choosing fish for your new freshwater aquarium, you're going to want to pick something that's peaceful, small, hardy, clean, and obviously attractive. You want them to look good. So let's go pick those fish. So, one of the first fish I came across, these cutie patooties over here, are parrotfish. Now, they're definitely attractive, and right now they're pretty small, but unfortunately, these guys sometimes have a bit of an aggression problem. They definitely get a lot bigger, much too big for our 20 gallon tank. And realistically, they're pretty messy fish. They eat a lot and they have a lot of waste. So we're gonna have to keep looking. These aren't the fish for us today. Next up, this tank of barbs caught my eye. Unfortunately, the tinfoil barbs are gonna get way too big. The tiger barbs are gonna be much too aggressive. And I mean, really, you could keep barbs if that's all you were keeping, but we want a little bit more variety than that. Well, I think we found what we came for. These guys here, they're live bears. They're swordtails specifically, but there's also mollies, platies, and guppies that you could go with. Why do we want live bears? Well, they stay small, they're hardy, they're clean fish, they don't produce that much waste, they're obviously attractive and incredibly peaceful, so they'll get along with each other and other fish quite well. Well, there's an assortment of them, so I'm gonna choose out a few different ones and we're gonna bag them up. Some items I actually like to have on hand that I use for acclimation before I pick up the fish would be a critter keeper or a small container. Really, you can even use a bucket if you'd like. I also like to have a fine net. It's a little bit easier on the fish's slime coat. Uh, I'd pick up the fish food if I know what species I'm getting. Otherwise, I'll wait until after when I actually get the fish. And in this case, I've picked up a better thermometer because the one we had, the stick on one, it's not that great. So now we're set. One of the most common practices known about is to take the fish in their bag and float them directly in the aquarium. The reason you do that is to let the temperature even out for the fish so that they don't go through a rapid temperature change that can send them into shock, which is not good because fish don't generally recover from that. So a slow shift in temperature for them is paramount to their success. It's not my favorite practice because it doesn't actually incorporate changes in things like the pH between their water and your aquarium, or the hardness or other factors that could be important for the fish. So I like to do things a little bit differently. The method I'm about to show you, which is my preferred method, is really crucial if you're gonna keep sensitive fish species or if the water that the fish are coming from is vastly different from the water in your aquarium. You might not always know that and maybe you don't always feel like testing. So just using this method from the start, regardless of water parameters, is always okay as well. Place a container down and fill it half full with water from the bag. Using a small container is best because you usually don't have a lot of water to spare in the bag with the fish. Next, using the fine net you've picked up, you're gonna net the fish out of their bag and gently put them in your container. What we're gonna do next is add small amounts of water using a small container or glass from your aquarium to the small container the fish are in. What this is gonna do is slowly acclimate them to the parameters of your aquarium by diluting the water that they're currently in. You're gonna to wanna to do this over the course of about 10 to 15 minutes and add small amounts of water each time. You can go as slow as you'd like, but the faster you go, the more risk you have of them going through some kind of shock. In between intervals of filling up the small container your fish are in, I like to take a moment to add a little bit of slime coat additive to the aquarium. I'm actually doing it via a water conditioner that has an aloe vera additive already in it. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna wrap the fish up and give them a little bit of a coat of protection so that if in their skittish entrance into the aquarium, they bump into anything, they're gonna be fine. Remember when we were adding that bacterial supplement when we started the aquarium to help boost the filter? We're actually gonna do that again right now. It's gonna give an extra buffer so that we don't end up with any kind of ammonia spike when we add those new fish. All right, so 15 minutes are up. The fish have been uh, slowly acclimated. I've double checked temperature, make sure their temperature and the tank are the same. We're good. So now it's time to add those fish from the container to the aquarium. How are we gonna do that, you ask? The fine net. The fine net, we're gonna use the fine net. Hey, 
look at those little guys go. They're happy, I can tell. They're smiling. The first few fish are in the tank. We're feeling good. They're looking good. It's really important not to add too many fish at once. We've only added three to this small 20 gallon aquarium. We've kept them appropriately sized, which is also super important. If you add too many at once, there's a really good chance your filter won't be able to keep up with it and you will get an ammonia spike. That's not good for the fish and you've got a good chance of losing them. So just avoid it altogether. Trust me, it's better this way. Adding new fish to a freshwater aquarium is really that simple. But if you do have any questions, feel free to hit us up on social media like Facebook or Twitter. You can even comment down below and we'll get back to you there. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel. We have tons of other videos. And as always, just keep on tanking, bruh. <laughs> All right, guys, you're gonna wanna acclimate slowly because otherwise your fish are gonna have a bad time.